in this video we will add a um, page header and uh, page footer for this uh, report uh, then we will uh, decorate the report with uh, uh, title showing in bold text and uh, providing a border around uh, each uh, row uh, doing so will uh, uh, output the report in a nice way uh, in a tabular form it will uh, output the report so first thing I wanna do is uh, first let's reduce the size here then we will move the report in the top left corner uh, click on this area then move the report uh, by placing the cursor anywhere in this uh, gray shaded area once resizing is done uh, click the report anywhere uh, in the left side you will see a row selector I mean uh, I can call it as a section selector go to the header of the report select that and then uh, make it as bold if you look here uh, this is a report formatting toolbar and uh, this one is report borders toolbar you can uh, enable them by right clicking on this uh, gray area Here I enabled the report borders and report formatting. That's why you are seeing these two toolbar here. We'll dock it to the top. Remember the header is selected in the table. Uh, I'm making it as bold now. giving it a blue color <coughs> next I am selecting the detail section of the report then uh, I am going to the border uh, instead of providing the outside border I am providing the top border see top border is selected um, and bottom border we will save the report now uh, we will add a report uh, this is report header and report footer we will add page header and uh, page footer as the name suggests uh, whatever you place in the page header will uh, displayed on every page of the report uh, same happens for page footer also so what I am doing is I am adding a page header just right click on the area here in the top left uh, uh, you will see uh, a square box click here then uh, right click select page header once again click this area then right click click page footer now we have a three section page header body page footer in the body we place the uh, table control and the table takes responsibility of uh, displaying the table data to the report and the table contains its own section that corresponds to the report those section I'll uh, tell again uh, that's a uh, report header and report footer 
so the report header and report folder will appear only once that means uh, the details on the report will span to one to multiple pages report footer will display uh, before the detail section starts and report footer displays uh, after the detail section is completed whereas page header starts uh, on each page and the page footer uh, will get displayed on each page first we will add uh, some image in the page header what I am doing is go to data Okay, go to report, not data. Uh, in the report, uh, you will see uh, embedded images. Click on the embedded image. Um, so, at present, if you see in this tabular column, uh, there is no embedded image. So, I am going to add a first image for this project. I already prepared this image in paintbrush you can uh, place whatever uh, image you want to display in the page header it may be your company logo or it may be the uh, image that is relevant to the report whatever it is so the embedded image is ordered here you can add multiple embedded image uh, and uh, after that you can pick whatever image you want so in this report I am going to display only one image so I added that in the embedded image click OK here so now we have image ready that is embedded with this project uh, now, now we will go to the tools yeah here is the image uh, open then drag that image to the page header So access the image property. Um, okay, here we will go and assign a image source as. embedded then I uh, will go to value you see this uh, report header image is displayed once you choose a uh, source as embedded then you can uh, choose the embedded image from the list available So the image is added here in the report uh, header section of the RDLC file. I'm just expanding the section. on the report in the page header I placed the image then in the page footer we will place a page number I'm accessing the property 
first we will place uh, some uh, text box then we will add uh, whatever we want there so I added a text box I'm choosing expression uh, from the text box right click the text box you will see a context menu like this then choose uh, expression and the expression uh, I'm clicking on the global and I'm specifying a uh, page number Uh, VB syntax so place uh, whatever you want in the um, string format then uh, append that with uh, Amberson so I'm here I'm keeping a page as a static text from global I'm taking the page number and then I'm appending that with uh, and I am appending that with the uh, ampersand here and then a slash so if you look here uh, the page number field will display it like this page column um, what page you are uh, seeing in the report then total number of page in the report so it's kind of a page one of two two of two like that so I'm clicking OK, OK to this uh, edit expression uh, dialog this is ready uh, I'm setting a background color for this similarly here we will uh, display um, report title uh, here I place the text box then right click choose expression then uh, go to global uh, if you see uh, here report name is there I'm just displaying that double clicking that will uh, give the expression uh, from the global I'm taking the report name and then I'm clicking OK here We'll set the background color for uh, this item also. Mysterious. Okay, now let's see uh, how the report uh, looks by running it. the report is displayed here if you see the image is coming in the top which is uh, nothing but a page header then report starts and uh, report has uh, these uh, titles ID, title, type and uh, price and uh, now you can see uh, each row is separated by a line this is because we placed a broader property and in the border property for each row we specified a top and bottom here in the end you are seeing end of report 
so the report ended in only one page uh, so you don't see a uh, difference here here it shows a page uh, one of one uh, report shows uh, the report name as a report rpt titles that's the name given for the report if you change the name that will appear here to see the result better I will expand this uh, uh, to a big width so that you can uh, see the report in multiple pages and we can differentiate what is a page header and a report header now I am running the report now if you see the report spanned to two pages because of uh, the increase in the width for each uh, record remember the page header is appearing here this is a report header if you see the report footer is not appearing because the report is spanning on some other page it doesn't uh, display all record in uh, one page so uh, you uh, are also seeing here page 1 of 2 that is total number of pages 2 you are seeing the first page now I am clicking uh, next in the next page if you see this is the page header because this is second page and page header is uh, coming here and the uh, report continues from the first page and it ends here that's why uh, we, are, we are seeing end of report here because we are placing that end of report in the uh, um, report footer once again the page footer is coming here and it shows the page 2 of 2 report name also coming here 